Can you live with a high mileage Toyota Prius after owning sports cars? Find out from a real owner, including his likes, dislikes, and rating out of five stars. Okay, so when I was looking for a car, it was either a BMW 4 Series or this 2014 Prius. And I was either going with something that I really wanted versus something I really thought was what I needed. The Toyota Prius definitely checks all the boxes for a sensible and responsible buy. Introduced in 1997, it was a revolutionary car that had an electric battery to supplement the gas engine. This combination resulted in significantly higher miles per gallon. By 2017, over 10 million Priuses had been sold worldwide. So let's take a closer look at this third generation Prius. Under the hood is a 1.8 liter four cylinder producing only 98 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. That is supplemented by a battery which has a power output of 36 horsepower, bringing the total system power to 134 horsepower. The transmission is a continuously variable transmission in order to maximize the mileage. With the light weight of just over 3,000 pounds, the Prius delivers an impressive mileage of 51 city and 48 highway. Don't expect much in terms of performance though. The 0 to 60 is a leisurely 10.9 seconds. Drive modes include power, eco, and an EV mode which allows you to drive at slow speeds up to a half a mile in electric only mode. In my experience, when I was driving really good, or not really good, but um, I guess more efficiently, I was getting about 45. Um, but I myself like a little bit more power. Uh, so I was in power mode all the time. Um, and I was getting about 40 miles per gallon. And that thing was flying like a regular car. The exterior of the car is designed to maximize the fuel efficiency. That streamlined shape with the rear spoiler results in an impressive drag coefficient of 0.25. However, the rest of the styling leaves much to be desired. The small wheels, oddly shaped light clusters, and body panels without much sculpting lead to a boring, bland look. It's not the coolest car in the world. If you're going out on a first date or anything like that, it's not the most impressive. While the looks may not impress your date, being bland can have its upside. So I used to have a lot of cool cars, and I used to get a lot of attention. I used to break so many necks with the kind of cars I was driving. Um, but now that I got a little bit older, I don't really want all that attention. I want to stay low key. I don't want uh, the police coming after me. Uh, I have slight tint on my windows, but it's a Prius. You're going to leave me alone. <laughs> Before we take a look inside, we'd love to get you on the show. Please reach out. Because of that streamlined shape, there is plenty of room in the cabin. In keeping with the high-tech hybrid engine, the dash is designed in a futuristic style. The instrument cluster is an all-digital single bar mounted in the middle. One of the cool features is the graphic that shows how the power is going back and forth between the wheels, battery, and gas engine. Entry trims get fabric seats, while higher trims get a lightweight material that Toyota calls soft tech. Heated seats are available. Okay, so my back hurts sometimes. And the fact that I have heated seats in my car, it's kind of like I just have a personal massage chair in there all the time. It's not necessarily massage, but, but the heat soothes and, and relaxes my back. For a small car, cargo room is impressive, and there's also a hidden secret compartment. When, when I was searching for a car, the most important thing to me was the technology, that it was up to date, uh, that I didn't have to shuffle around in my pocket for a key to get my car going. Um, what came with the technology package was the heads-up display, which is like the newest technology out in like 2014, around then. And uh, I really like the, the, the heated seats. So the solar panel actually, like on a hot day like this, it keeps your car cool. It runs the fan in, inside the car. So when you get in, it's not smoldering hot. Other tech features include a backup camera, navigation, lane keep assist, and dynamic radar cruise control. It's pretty impressive to see this level of technology in a car at this price point. 
So, how does the Prius drive? This car is so smooth. Actually, one of my favorite things is hopping in really quick, turning it on, and then just like scooting away. Nobody hears anything, nobody, nothing like that. And if you're like, whoa. <laughs> you know, uh, the handling, it's not bad for the car, for what it is. Um, I'm used to sports cars, but for what it is, the handling is not too bad. And how many stars does Jonathan rate the Prius? I'm gonna rate this car four out of five stars. It's efficient, it does what it needs to do, um, and it's affordable. If you're considering a Toyota Prius, take a look at our other owner reviews. Please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe.